everybody how's it going today is my ipsy bag i got it last week i haven't had a chance to film it sorry about that um so today i'm not working hence the hoodie and not much makeup and my voice should sound a little better than it did in my last video i had a couple people say some stuff about how my voice sounded really bad how i needed like a cough drop or something i just i had just gotten off work when I film that video, I work long shifts, I work retail, I talk a lot. So naturally, by the end of the day, my voice sounds really crappy. I guess if you do have a problem with that, you know, thanks for watching. But if you don't want to watch anymore, that's okay with me. You're the one who has to deal with it, I guess. So here is this month's Ipsy bag. It's kind of a disappointing bag. Can we talk a second about the cheap, god-awful, gaudy bag? It's a very cheap cheap pleather material not even pleather I don't even know what to call it it's very plastic it's gold snake skin with pink inside very cheap I'm probably going to throw this one away I'm never gonna use it um, we did get we did get six items this month which is kind of cool um, I just kind of wish they would have been really six awesome items we got three full-size or at least I got three full-size products first there's a hairspray in here it's cool when we get hairspray from like Big Sexy Hair because that's not something a lot of us will go out and purchase because it's so expensive. However, this is something you could go to the drugstore and purchase. It's Tresemme and this is actually a hairspray I've tried before and I could not stand how it felt on my hair. It felt really sticky and my hair felt like a helmet. Like it gave me helmet feeling hair. It was so weighed down and sticky and crunchy. I hate this stuff. I, I'm not even going to use this bottle. I will probably give it to... Uh, I know my mother really likes this hairspray, so I will give it to her. I just will never use it. Another product from Pixie. I love when we get Pixie products. This is like the third or fourth product I've gotten from Pixie through My Glam and or Ipsy or whatever it's called now. I can never remember. This is the Beauty Bronzer in Subtly Sun Touched. I probably, I'm not even going to open this, honestly, because I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I don't use bronzer. My skin is too fair skin for bronzer. So I'm probably going to keep this packaged and throw it in like Christmas presents as like stocking stuffers or keep it for like a blog sale I'm planning or something. I don't quite know, but this is full size as well. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I got quite a bit of full size products. I think this one might be the only non-full-size product I got. Uh, another product from Be A Bombshell. We seem to get these products a lot. This is their lip pencil, lip crayon thing in Hot Damn. It's a very pretty orange-red color. It's a matte finish. Um, I don't know. might be wearable. I haven't ex really played with this one yet. Um, but so far, every Bombshell product we've gotten... I've really liked so I do have high hopes for this lip pump that I do have really high hopes for this lip pencil oh nail teeny another nail teeny I'm so sick of getting nail teeny I cannot stand the formulation of this polish um, this is a sh rose gold champagne color I never use these polishes I've gotten like six of them and I give them to my sister every time because I cannot stand these I, you know, and she doesn't really like them either, but she loves nail polish, so she takes them. Ipsy, I'm getting really sick of getting these nail polishes. I know, yes, I'm complaining about receiving a full-size nail polish in my Ipsy bag. I know. Next to the product that I actually really like, and I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did, this is the M by Michelle Fawn. M, everybody received a full sized item in their ipsy bag this month and this one I was like kind of scared when I looked at it because it is almost black it is a very deep deep blood red color but I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now and it doesn't look too bad like it looks semi wearable and I'll zoom in here so this is just kind of ooh, blurry so this is just kind of what the um product looks like on the lips in person it's a little bit darker um but i think it's just very wearable okay, i'll put a little more on because it actually it shears out quite a bit into a really nice just deep sheer berry color 
I think it's quite nice. I wore it to work, got a lot of compliments on it. I just think it's fantastic. I wasn't expecting this lip balm to be as moisturizing as it is, but it actually gives me a very nice moisture layer on my lips. So it's not like giving me really chapped lips and chapped lips, dark lips are hard to pull off when you have chapped lips too. So this is really nice. I kind of want to try more of these lip balms from her. Oh, I, for, I probably should tell you the, um, probably should tell you the name of this. This color is called Berries and this is her Pillow Plush Cushiony Lip Balm. So very eager to try more of these lip balms. I, so the very last thing is another full size product. This is from Starlux. We get tons of Starlux products and they're always eyeliners and they're always really bad eyeliners. I really wish they would stop sending us these too. This one is like a fun color. It's called Topaz and it's a really pretty silver color. When I, I remember finding out we were getting another one of these pencils and I was like, gosh darn it, another one? What's the point? Because they're way too dry and they pull at the skin when you try to apply them. And then somebody told me that these were supposed to be a different like formula and they were a lot easier to go on. I don't think that's true because this just feels really dry and it pulls at my swatch. and it's just uncomfortable. But here's a swatch. It's really pretty. I just, I mean, it's a really pretty pen. It's a really pretty color. I just will not apply this anywhere near my eye. It tugs too much and I'm just so tired of getting these eyeliners from Starlux when I won't use them because they're too dry. I mean, I mean, these are repeat products. We get these all the time. They're just in different colors and many people have complained about getting these. I for one have started reviewing products on Ipsy. One because you get points for them and when you um, earn points you can redeem them for products now which is kind of like Birchbox's website which I think is really cool. But also just so I can voice my opinion is that wow these products you're sending us really suck. Please don't do it anymore. Um, also because my past few bags have been so hit and miss I did retake the beauty quiz so and I didn't realize that I didn't realize that since I took it the first time a lot of my beauty preferences have changed um, so I'm hoping that'll help with my next bag so I can get some better products or at least products that I will actually use and wear so here's hoping I don't know how that's gonna go I guess I will keep you updated all right so that's going to be it for my ipsy bag this month let me know what you guys thought of the products in the comments below and hopefully I will be able to see your comments because our new commenting system is god awful. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!